Hello guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. I'm Boombox and yeah, we're gonna play around the world. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Oh, oh my, uh, uh, I have to go, hey. I have... <laughs> Alright guys, and welcome to another Around the World episode. And as you can see behind me, the Golem Farm has been made. But now guys, today we are going to achieve the hardest goal in the Golem Farm. We have to get the villagers to at least two in each of these villager hangers as you can see on the side of the golem farm and there is a few ways to achieve that goal you can make a sort of water way to drift them over towards the golem farm and then make a, a water elevator to elevate the villagers into these hangers but there is a second and lot safer way you can drive the villagers in here with a minecart but that that plan takes a lot of resources so like iron and that sort of stuff but I don't have any iron because for a minecart you need rails and of course a minecart and you have to get a path up from the villager breeder and then torch these cells so that's gonna be not very easy I guess it will take a long time, so that's why I can't promise to record all of the villagers getting in these hangars. Because we need two in each hangar. So that's going to take a long time, so I won't promise to record all of it. But I will record after. So, and I hope the golem spawning will work then. Oh crap, there's zombies coming in. So guys, I will see you in the evening. If not in the evening, in the morning. When we are safe and we when we are going to get those villagers in these hangars. Okay guys. I think the best is for the villagers to put them in those hangars is using a minecraft a minecart transportation system. But as I said, I need a lot of resources and I don't have any iron left. But guys, I was mining to collect all that cobblestone for the golem farm cell. And I found a mine shaft and found myself almost a stack of rails. And I've also found a lot of iron. Well, not a lot, but it is enough to to make us a minecart. And where is my oven? Oh, he gotta be kidding me. It made an oven. So. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Okay, now you've got two. <sighs> that was so stupid. I forgot about that. Well, I had to say, let these iron ingots burn. And on the way, we will make the way towards the villager breeder. And let's see if we can put those villagers in on our own. Because I have made this golem farm a few times before on my Minecraft server. And that was pretty easy because you could work with all your friends together. And putting villagers in a golem farm together is not very hard. But on your own it's really hard of a method. So I'm trying to do it as best as I can. None of the villagers got hurt, I guess. One, two. There's two in this corner. I don't know why. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, at least one more villager has to get breed. But that is impossible because there's two less doors. And that is a Minecraft mechanism. The villager spawning rate. Ah, crap. Oh, okay. I didn't craft it yet. Nice. Okay, the way villager spawning works is that when you make a villager breeding cell, each door counts as one or two villagers, I guess. And when there's two less doors, they won't breed anymore. Or maybe they will. Maybe I'm. It's just a big misunderstanding. I don't think they will breed. So let's see what happens when we place one more door in. Maybe they will breed then. Because we at least need to leave two villagers in the cell to breed again. So. So that's handy because I always have a resource of villagers then. But guys, let's make the pickup system for the minecart. And I will doing that in this corner here. And you will see why. 
Okay. Guys, this is where the real path is going to start. It's pretty easy because I only need a bucket of water. Really bad English accent. <laughs> water. Well, then the next thing you do is you place it down there and all the villagers will stream down that way. And when you will put a minecart right here, the, all the villagers get pushed into the side and will glitch through this sort of gap between the wood and glitch into the minecart. So that's the thing what I want to try to achieve. I have enough potatoes, so screw you. Well, now we need to make the path towards the breeder. And we are going to make that out of cobblestone because it's the only block I've got right now. And normally you will need to have a crap load of, yeah, these um, cobblestone, but I don't have them with me right now. They're in my main island's chest room, and that's all the way back there. That's like a thousand blocks back there. We will also make a nice portal, portal nether transportation towards this place to actually get towards the golem farm and back. So don't worry about that. Everything will be made soon. And it's going to be hard because now, when the rails is going to be laid back here, the villager also needs to get pushed up, and that's also a tricky part. The villager can't die or anything, but it's just really hard to push them up, and the cart will just glitch through you and back and all that stuff. So you will see that when I will, when I'm pushing one of those guys in, I think this is how far enough and high enough. one floor too low so let's build it up like this okay now let's see how many rails I will need to get towards that place I think I will need uh, like two and a half to stacks to reach the golem farm but we'll see how far we will reach with this amount of rail it is easier to do with power rails but I don't have any uh, redstone with me on this place you know let's just try it we can improve with the rails we have oh we're reaching pretty far okay it's never gonna be enough but let's get one of the villagers into the mine carts and then we will try to push him over okay then now the potato now there's room for the potato he didn't, he didn't despawn the potato. It's pretty funny. Okay. Let's head over towards our small survivor's house. <laughs> it's not really a masterpiece, but you've got to begin somewhere. And that's always the nicest part when you start a new survival world. That's when you got to start again and all over again. You know what I mean? Okay, we've got one. Okay, we have to throw. Okay, fuck you, seats. I've got enough seats ready, as you can see. Screw you. No, guys. Let's just start. Let's try it. It's worth a try. So. Oh, crap. No, I fell in. Okay, that's not a smart move. Um, how am I? Okay, I can just dig out this block because the villagers will never be able to get out of this again. Oh. Let's see if it works out to get one of the villagers in like this. Yeah, he's glitching already, so let's try. No, don't push it away, you piece of crap. Yes, there we go. So, as you can see, it's done like that. But now we have to get it. Oh, okay. Now just block the minecart. Step by step. Come on then, huh? Okay, don't let the minecart go too far because then it will glitch through you if it has enough speed to do it so okay we have to be careful because I don't want the minecart falling off here oh no 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 don't I swear no okay is the villager ah oh, no well guys that's not done like that <laughs> let's do it again Get up there, you piece of junk. 
Maybe we should just get some more rails because this is not gonna work out. Okay, let's just leave the villager up there. I think he is safe on there. But you know, let's just throw him an item. Here there you go. Can he pick up items while driving in a minecart? Okay, he's off the road now. But I think he should stay up there. Let's go through the night. Then we will collect some more of those rails in the mine shaft. I think I will need about like 30 more or 40 more pieces of rail. So guys, I think I will quickly collect those and then I'll see you back. Just got me some new rail. I'm heading over towards the transportation line again. Let's see if we can put that guy in now. Okay, let's place another minecart. Just no, 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 no. Okay, there's one in again. So let's leave him there for a sec. Let's first put this guy in. Is he still there? Okay, he didn't despawn. That's great. Okay, now I have to make sure I don't push him off the... Okay, I think it went fine. Okay, he's on the rails. Okay, now don't fall back, please. Uh. Okay, I have to be more careful. Let's just make the path. Oh. Okay. Now we have to make a turn in the rails and that's really easy to do. You just make it like this and then take it away and the turn in the rail will stay. So even if you take away this block, chop down. Okay, it's gone. Let's now put that guy on the rails and put him into his villager breeding cell. Okay, there guy, there you go. Nice, there he goes. Okay, he takes a bit of fall damage, but that does not matter. He will heal. So now it's very easy. We just take away the minecart. And he's in. And then just use a block. Because... Oh, I forgot about telling you why these streams are in here. That's to prevent from the villagers from glitching out. Because when there are two villagers in here, they will, of course, start to breed. And they will multiply really fast. And... When you will just let them walk around, they will glitch out of the corners and all that stuff. So that's why the water is in here. To prevent them prevent them from glitching out. That's all... Where it is for. Okay, we need one more. So that's why I will leave this path like this. We only need one more villager in that cell over there. Ah, oh, crap. I have to get me some food. Oh. He got pushed away by the villagers. Does not matter. He will not leave the rails. So let's just go. Let's put him in as well. Okay, guy. There you go. Don't let him glitch through. Don't make the distance too big. Because otherwise the minecart will take speed. And it will glitch through you. Back towards the, um, the breeding cell. And that's not what you want. You want him control. Under control. And then you will push him. There we go. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Okay, nice. Another one is in there. Oh. Okay, as you can see. There they are. As you can see, wherever I go, I will always end up in the middle. So that's really nice about this system. Alright. Let's finally get out of here. Oh, and I just replaced my axe. Ah, the breeding starts already. That's because of the doors on the back of the golem, on the side of the golem cell. Okay, let's now see if we can reach the other golem cell by the rails we have now. Otherwise, I have to, I have to collect more of these rails for myself. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Ah, uh, we can push the other villagers in by ourselves. We don't need them to drive all the way, so... Oh, the minecart. Yes, I got both of them. Let's go. Let's grab another guy. go for steep again but guys you have seen how it's done and I will see how long it will take me to get the other villagers in there and then we will see if the golem farm actually works <laughs> all right guys the golem farm is finished I have put all the villagers into the golem cells in their hangars some of them are not breeding yet but that does not really matter they should breed as fast as they can but guys before you are waiting off of yeah you are waiting to spawn your uh, your golems in here make sure that there is no block placed above the doors on the side of the golem farm as you can see I've also job of yeah dug down those because then the sun needs to fall down straight onto the you're on the doors on the side so that there is a certain light level and that represents a village here. now this golem cell here represents a village and there should be some golems spawning but not they haven't spawned yet but guys I expect to see a lot of spawns and I will give you an update next week about how many iron we have collected because I have also may need to make a small yeah, golem converter down there to kill the golems and collect the iron. So hopefully the golems will spawn. Oh. But I do think that's going to work. Oh, this looks nice. <laughs> well, guys, I think this is going to work. Glad I have made this. It's really going to help me out of my world to get free iron. And I will see you next week.